Hello everyone. Welcome to Edureka. In this session, we are going to learn about how to become a data scientist. Before we begin, let's see the agenda for today's session. First, we will understand what data science is, then how to become a data scientist and what skills are required for this role. Following this, we will also look into the steps to becoming a data scientist and what data scientist does. Finally, we will also look into the companies that are hiring for data scientist roles. Without any further delay, let's begin with the today's session. Data science is a next dream job for every working professions. So, in this job, data plays a very important role. For example, internet data is a raw material for data science, like ingredients for a recipe. Just as a chef uses a quality ingredients to create a delicious food, but here. A data scientist uses a diverse internet data sources like social media posts, online articles, and then public data sets to analyze, predict trends, and also to solve real world problems. But before we get started with the topic, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on latest tech content by Edureka. Also, Visit the Edureka website for training and certification courses. The link is in the description box below. So, what is a data science? Data science is the study of data to extract knowledge and insights from structured and unstructured data using scientific methods, processes, and algorithms. Next, we will explore the reasons behind becoming a data scientist. Data science career offers numerous benefits, including rewarding, intellectual stimulating environment and ability to stay updated with the technological trends. Those with an analytical mind, intellectual curiosity and love for data and technology may find this career appealing. And one more thing, according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, a 35% increase in data science industry jobs between 2021 to 2032 is predicted, significantly which is greater than national average of 4%. If you are not yet convinced why you should think about this career, come let's see the salary status. According to the Glassdoor report, the average annual salary of data scientists in India is 14 lakhs per annum, whereas in USA, the average salary for data scientists is $156,000 per year. Now we will check for the technical skills required for data scientists. The first one is statistics and math. Being a data scientist requires an understanding of the basics in statistics and mathematics. This understanding enables you to examine data trends, create predictions, and derive useful insights. Next, we have SQL and NoSQL. Databases are frequently used in data science. Structured query language is used for relational databases, whereas NoSQL databases allow for more flexibility with the unstructured data. So, understanding this helps us to organize and retrieve data more efficiently. Then, we should be familiar with the data visualization. Tableau and Power BI are the best data visualization solutions. Both of these technologies are capable of performing visualization and analytics. Visualizing data is crucial and the tools like Matplotlib and Seaborn aid in creating graphs and charts that makes a complex information easily understandable. Then we have machine learning. Machine learning is at the heart of data science. By utilizing algorithms for learning and decision making, it is a vital for predictive modeling, recognizing patterns in unlabeled data, and also improving decision making through reinforcement learning. Following this, we have deep learning. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that deals with neural networks, which mimic the structure of human brain. It utilizes the complex duties such as image identification and natural language processing. Certainly, here are some of the prominent deep learning algorithms commonly used in data science. First one is conventional neural networks, then recurrent neural networks, and then long short term memory networks. Next, we have natural language processing which is also called as NLP. NLP is concerned with enabling computers to understand, interpret, and generate human languages. It is essential for activities such as sentimental analysis, 
chatbots and language translations. Among the most common supervised NLP machine learning methods are support vector machines, maximum entropy and then random filled with the conditions. The next required skill is big data. With a growing volume of data, big data technologies such as Hadoop and Spark are important. These technologies allow for the processing and analyzing the enormous data sets that traditionally systems are incapable of handling. Finally, we have cloud computing. Cloud computing allows you to access and process data remotely using platforms such as AWS and Azure. It offers scalability and flexibility, making massive datasets or machine learning models easier to handle and deploy. Now, we will move on to the non-technical skills. First, we have analytical skills. This skill is crucial for data scientists to interpret patterns, extract insights and making information decisions. And then computer skill. Mastery in any of the programming languages, data manipulation tools and software applications is helpful for data scientists. Another important skill is communication skill. Effective communication skills are crucial in conveying complex technical findings to diverse stakeholders ensuring clear and understandable communication for the practical applications for data-driven solutions. Following this, we have logical thinking skill. This skill helps to create robust algorithms, design efficient data models, and troubleshoot issues in the data science process. And the next one is mathematical skill. In this, a strong mathematical foundation, including statistical concepts and mathematical modeling, that enhances the accuracy and reliability of data-driven insights. Lastly, we have problem-solving skill. Data scientists utilize their problem-solving skills to tackle complex problems, design effective experiments, and refine models iteratively. Now, let's move to an important part of this session, which is steps to become a data scientist. The first and foremost step is educational foundation. To enter to this field, a data scientist typically needs a bachelor degree in mathematics, statistics or computer science related courses. And the next step is programming proficiency. Suppose you are already a bachelor degree candidate, in that case you will already know about theoretical concepts of programming. So it will be a plus point if you practice and work on projects using languages like Python, R and SQL. Moving forward, we have data wrangling and data reporting. If you want to be a data scientist, you will often come across huge and complicated data sets. So, you must learn how to deal with these informations in order to make sense of it. This is where a data wrangling skills comes in handy. Here, you will clean, organize and transform raw data into a format that can be analyzed and conclusions drawn from. And the next step is Statistics, Math and Machine Learning Learn the fundamentals of statistical concepts and techniques. This includes fundamentals of data analysis such as probability, hypothesis testing and regression analysis. Then we have Understand Databases step. Here, relational databases enable a data scientist to store a structured data efficiently. SQL allows handling structured data querying databases and preparing data. It is often used alongside Python with the libraries like SQLite, PostgreSQL and MySQL. The next step is to learn big data. The increasing volume of data sets in today's world makes it challenging to collect, maintain and process. However, skilled data scientists can extract valuable insights from massive data sets by learning using cloud platforms like AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. And the next step is earn certifications. Obtaining tools and skill-specific certifications can showcase your expertise and knowledge in your chosen field. Here are the few excellent certifications to help you on your way. They are Data Science Training Master's Program by Edureka and Data Science with a Python Certification Courses by Edureka. And the next step is internship. After developing the necessary data scientist skills, 
it is time to apply them in professional settings. Applying for internships or jobs can provide a practical experience, real-world projects and collaborations with professionals. You may choose a data science and machine learning internship program by Edureka as well. And the next step is follow and engage with the community. In this step, to become a data scientist, stay updated with the fast-paced industry by engaging with the dedicated community on social media platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter and Discord. And you can also join forums and attend webinars that provide some valuable insights, mentorship and potential job opportunities also. And the final step is apply for data science jobs. After an internship, you can either join the same company or seek entry-level position in data science, data analysis or engineering. Gain expertise and work upon the ladder by actively applying for data science positions. Now we will understand what data scientists do. Essentially, data scientists work to understand and analyze data in order to provide actionable insights. In a business settings, they collaborate across multiple teams to lay the groundwork for robust analytics. These teams can build solutions and communicate their findings to a larger business set of data. Therefore, data scientists frequently collaborate with the data engineers analyst, IT architects, application developers, and also business stakeholders. Now, let's see which all companies that are hiring for this role. So first one is Amazon, then Google, Microsoft, VMware, and then EY. With this, we have come to the end of this session. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and keep learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!